Wilson Morales from Black Feminine TV, 50. How's it going? Good, man. Good to see you again, man. Now, at what point did you decide, did you know that Joseph was ready to lead his own series? And when, and did you know it was always going to be book four? <laughs> well, you know, I, I, I felt like it was, was season three. Season three in Power, he, he like became my favorite actor in the favorite character in the show. And it, it's just, he, he was pulling all of the actual drama. He had all of the, everything, because Ghost didn't want to be in the drug business. He was the only representation of someone who, who chose that lifestyle and was actually going in that direction. Like, like feeling like, this is what I do good, so this is what I'm gonna do. I'm not gonna stop, because you feel like that. You know what I mean? And I think it, a lot of the audience kind of related to that, because we see people that made the choice that are just in that direction. We don't see them doubting themselves when they're in it. And when we got to, no, when we started the universe, the ideas for, for the actual spinoff, the, the show I was worried about is the biggest show right now, is the ghost show. And I was worried about that because it, it was gonna get younger. Like this, the theme of uh, Tariq going to college. And I was like, yo, and, and it turned into more millennials, like more people watching the show on the telephone. That's how you could tell it. <laughs> they're, just, they're not even bothering to wait till they get home. They're just watching like musty TV. But uh, that was the one I was afraid of because and, and the stakes would be lower because he's new coming in. Like, you know, someone that's, that's already in that lifestyle sees they're already in scenarios where that, that action is just going to take place. So, you know, moving to Raising Canaan is going back into the 90s. That's the golden era. I, I like to say that that was the period that is probably uh, unmatched. Like musically, the, the, the culturally, there was two genres, R&B music and rap music. But now it's almost, it's almost merged. Like there's, it's very rare. I don't even know a new R&B artist. Technically, <laughs> they consider themselves like, like, like hip hop too, because they rap too, you know what I'm saying? But the, um, going back to that era, the music feels good. And I, I guess it's because the audience that's, uh, that's watching television right now was partying in. You know what I'm saying? Like that was it. They're 21 and partying for the first time, legally having a drink and enjoying themselves in that time period. And they're home, grown, watching television now. So it takes them to a new space and a different place. And um, when we get to him, him with force, it's the natural spinoff of the show. Like, because it stays at that, where the stakes are that high and him traveling into a new town and not knowing exactly. It's a, it's a Western kind, right? The guy travels to a new town, comes in and starts to try and take over, starts to do some things. It's, it kind of got those underbelly themes connected to it at the same time. And it, it's, it's really interesting. I think when people see it, they're going to be blown away with it by it. Did you get a chance to see the, the first episode? I've seen it already. Obviously, you know, they're smart to only give me one, not all of it, you know. So <laughs> keep it going, you know. And it's great that it's a weekly show. Obviously, you know, one from the, you know, back to back as one series ends, this one will continue. Congrats on the success. Keep it going. We're here to support. Wherever you're at, stay safe. <laughs>